Are we early? What time is it? I haven't even looked at the time. Um, that's my only sauce. There you go. Hello people, just waiting for a few more, we have um, 25, 25 countries, 25 countries at the event of this year, um, so, so pronouncing some of the names is going to be quite challenging I think, um, but I'll do my best. Hello to those of you that know me out there. Um, this is the second Lit Laughs International Film Festival. Um, tell you what's happening after this. We are we're going to be running again from tomorrow, and we are going to be going annually, going going every year. But however, it will start tomorrow, and it will end in July. Hopefully, with a live event. That's what we're hopefully. Hi, Ross. Hope you're well, buddy. And my brother Stephen Lewis Davis and David Kyo Kyo Kyo. That's my excellent writing partner and my brother. Um, yeah, so we're going to be open again tomorrow. The comedy festival will be open again tomorrow, and we will be hello San Francisco. Um, which I imagine it's in the data. Yeah, we'll be running up to July, and then we're having the finals in July 2021. After that, it's going to be every year. Um, this year's taught me quite a lesson. Um, running the lit scares and the lit laughs has been interesting. Um, it's been very busy. It's been very, very busy. Um, for those of you that got your semi-final laurels, you'll know that I worked all Christmas Day um, and most of Boxing Day and most of today. Um, anyway, so let's see. Let's get. We're going to get started. Um, Karen just wants to say hello as normal, so hopefully you can give her a bit of a, a warm welcome from all over the world. She, uh, she was abandoned by a few different people, and I've ended up with her, so this is Karen. She doesn't, she doesn't really do much. She's like a little sort of blocked up Yoda. She doesn't want to do any tricks or anything like that, so there's no, there's no real reason to keep her up here much longer, because that's pretty much all she does. Steve? Steve's a bit tired. Steve. Right. We'll get underway anyway. A uh, few things have changed since summer. Uh, those of you might be repeat offenders here. A few things have changed. Mainly my eyesight. Um, when I did the summer finals, I really, I should have printed them in Braille. I couldn't see a thing. I was like, and I find myself doing that now. Um, so I'm just going to do some special thanks here because these are all the people that have helped me out. Uh, the readers are on. Uh, I just want a special thanks to our script judges. That's Helen Tunnicliffe, David J. Keogh, I think I've got that right first time, and Joe Zalius. They've helped me with the scripts and done a fantastic job as well. Um, our film judges have been Itai Guberman. I think that's the first time I've said his name right as well. And Lewis Robinson and Ronald J. Wright. 
we also had some help from Fiona Boyd Campbell on the rom-com section, which is quite big this year. Um, and obviously, I've been a judge in all of them. Um, I want to give a big thank you, a massive thank you, and this is just different, a little bit romantic maybe, who knows. But I want to thank my partner, my new partner, um, Kia, Kia Ellis. Um, we met five months ago, pretty much when I started watching all the uh, entries to both festivals. Um, so the relationship's been strange. Um, she's 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 supported me. She's an amazing woman, and she's literally I've sacrificed most of our time to do this, and she's been patient and very understanding. So Kia, you're amazing, and I love you. Thank you. And next year, all my time's coming to you. Right, I'm going to get started because right now most of you are semi final well all of you um, are semi-finalists, so well done on that first, congratulations, that's, that's an amazing achievement. We've had about 500 entries, um, some sections have been phenomenal and um, it's, it's literally been so, so tough to judge, I mean we, we judge like um, with 0.1, 0.2, some of these have been like 0.1s and, and separating them. So congratulations everyone who's in the semi-finals, that's a, firstly a massive achievement. What I'm going to do first and foremost is literally, I just want to say hi to Peter who's from Amsterdam, he's, he's just popped up there, so I'm just, going to, I'm just going to break off and say hello to Peter Sturk. It's done, it's too late now, it's out there. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do firstly and foremost, because I'm going to read all the finalists out, um, hopefully the semi-finals will still see a, stay around to see who won. Um, like I say, there's been 25 countries involved in this, so it's been phenomenal. And the, the level has been up there. It's, it's been at... That's quite high, by the way, because I'm only 5'7", recurring. Um, anyway, so without further ado, ado further, further, further ado... I'm gonna I'm gonna stop and just say hello to Laura firstly because I'll 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 get lynched if I didn't. Anyway, um hello Laura. Right, so th the finalists are in each section, I'll read them out and then we're gonna oh Darren. Um and then we're gonna go through and see who's won what. This is what we're all playing for. Oh look at I don't know where the camera is. Look at that bad boy. You can't put a price on that. I mean, you can, it were about tenner, but you can't put a price on that. If if you forget that, I said it were a tenner. So that's what we're playing for, big guns. He's got a laughing face on it because it's, you know, because it's a comedy festival. So not bad, is it? Eh? Yeah. I thought of that myself. Anyway, so the finals. <clears throat> I don't need them. But it's just clear glass, so. Right, so the finals, firstly, in our new section, which was a TikTok section. Um, the finals are Nap Chat, Siri, and The String. There are three finalists for TikTok. In Romcom, we have five finalists The Devil's Tale, Driver's Ed, my new boyfriend, that's me, and girls and boys, and please say anything. In micro short screenplay, we have six finalists. That is stuck in a lift, Batman, reset to factory settings, seen in a coffee shop, cold, the R word, and the dog's bollocks. Don't really like saying that. Steve hasn't got any. He doesn't know that yet, but... Right. The finalists in web series screenplay. There's ten finalists. We have more finalists. We have more, less finalists. It depends on how many people entered each section. This was quite a heavy section. So we have ten finalists. Um, number one is Slackers. Number two is Shit Men. It's actually Hit Men, but they've put a clever little S in brackets at the beginning, so... Shit men. Uh, number three is community theatre. Number four is youth can age ya. Number five, blind doctor. Number six, the o, o, the all, the artua. 
that's a word. You can check with Kia. Number seven, revolving doors. Number eight, at the pictures. Number nine, small talk. And number 10, imagination park, episode one. Right, the finalists for short screenplay are Operation Weed Whacker, Fig Jam, Pillow Talk, Divorce by Combat, Tony and Marconi, Warren and the Wheelie Bins, quite apt because Warren Speed is watching, and Scammed. The finalists for feature screenplay, and we had a hell of a lot in this one, so we've, and we've got 10 finalists in the feature screenplay. We have Ghostwriter, Ghostwriter, Jailbreak, Kings of Cabra, Made in Japan, Itchy Nose, that's not one, I just wanted to do that. Uh, the Electric War, The Real Thing, Unmatched, Luna Tuna, Powerball and the Mortality Game. Then we have Comedy Horror. We have 12 finalists in Comedy Horror. We have Swings and Roundabouts. At This Time in My Death. The Killer in Cursed Water. Serial Killer. Siren. Inspectire. Bad Dad. Something Is Here. Pets the Life. Bitch. Popcorn and Blood, Cold-Blooded, Miss Melder's Petunias. Uh, web series, we have 10 finalists. That's Collected, Owl House, Fully Skits, Wildlife with Paul Edward Robson, Wound Back, The Healer, Bodega, Zipwav Humphreys, Alan and Michael Do Things, and her guy and micro shorts now micro shorts we had a phenomenal entry amount um i think there was a, about 150 entries into micro shorts alone um so we actually have 20 finalists which are wizards casting rose the split grace cash only climate change is real the american dream crash pad Masks, Ball Deep, The Shut In, Bigfoot and Me, Trivial Loser, Angry Dogs, The Hit, Wire Orgy, that's right, an orgy with wires in it, CGCS The Plan, Zoom Particus, The Printer, and Pets for Life again. Short films, we had, I think, 80, 80 entries. We've got 13 finalists. That is Cash Dash, Bless Me Father, The Confab, Snake Oil, Meet His Murder, Strike, Windows, The Adventures of Cam and Adam, They Came From the Sky, I Saw Them, The Socially Distant Social Club, A Fine Stew, Little Poster... Poster Po, little poster po, pa, li, pa, little poster po, and track. Feature films, very good section this time. Um, we've got eight finalists: The Last Roll, I Am Robert, Brighton, Drac, Be Negative, Avocado on Toast, Portugal is not for sale, and The Terrible Adventure. And then a section that um, we chose ourselves is Best Actors Stroke Actresses. Um, they are, there's 10 finalists here for that. Larry Lamb in Brighton. Tom Gaskin in Snake Oil. Riker Balloon. Balloon. In The Confab. Tracy Wiles for Meet His Murder. Matthew O'Brien for The Last Roll, Jeffrey Vag for Drac, Tom McGovern, Climate Change is Real, Emily Lynn, Cash Only, Real Celez in A Fine Stew, and Veronica Meldia for Miss Melders Petunas. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is all your finalists. 
Now, for anyone not listening, I'll go through all them again. So, no, well, no, just a little bit of humour in it because it's comedy fest. So, um, right, bear with me. We're going to go into the winners in a minute. Right. So, that, ladies and gentlemen, is all your finalists. <clears throat> We're going in for number one. We're going in for number one. Here we go. So this is going to be... I've forgotten. Totally forgotten. Uh, the TikTok. TikTok new section. Um, we're going to start with runner-up. We'll move on to second. And then we'll go with first. Ladies and gentlemen, the glasses are on. The gloves are off. Trophy number one. Here we go. So, third place in TikTok is The String, directed by Tom Eastwood from United Kingdom. Tom, there'll be a certificate on its way to you, digital, so it'll be coming via email. Runner-up is Snapchat, The Toast, by Jake Rasmus, Rasmus, Ma, Jake Rasmussen, really, R Jake Rasmussen. From USA. The winner... <laughs> I didn't even realise that. The winner is Siri. Also by Jake Rasmussen. Jake Rasmussen. So Jake, you are our first winner of a TikTok section. Well done. That is coming to you in the USA at my cost. <laughs> really glad. That you live all the way over there, that's <laughs> it's going to cost me more than a trophy did to actually send it to you. I mean, unless you, you want to come here and pick it up. No, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. So, Jake, TikTok. Next up, quite a surprising section, rom-com. I didn't think this would take off. There was quite a few romantic comedians out there, isn't there? Including myself. Right, so... Here we go. It looks similar to the last one. In fact, I could be just picking up the same trophy all the time, but just to prove that I got more than one trophy. Here's the other one. So, you know, there's loads of them. There, there, there is loads, by the way, I want just... So, anyway, let's go straight in to rom-coms. In third place, in no particular... Well, it is in a particular order. It's, it's, I just wanted to say that. Uh, third place, we have Driver's Ed, directed by Amy Lanasa. Lanasa from the USA. So, well done, Amy. Runner up was Gulls, Gulls and Boys, directed by Nathan Miller from United Kingdom. So, well done, Nathan. But the winner was My New Boyfriend. Irony. Directed by Nelson Kwan. In China. China. That's coming all the way to China, Nelson. Unless you, you know, you're in the UK anytime soon. I'll be going all the way to China. It's going to cost me a fortune. Right. Next up. This one. Slightly different, because I've tilted it a little bit. Anyway, next up, we're moving on to screenplays now. So we're going to sh start with... I always want to do that, like, you know, when people on films are sort of like, they take the glasses off to look further or something like that. I always think, why? Um, so, in third place, in micro screenplay, this is. Third, oh, it was actually a joint third place. Um... So we have, in joint third place, The R Word, written by Tishon Pugh from USA, and also The Dog's Bollocks, written by Stuart Carey from Ireland. But runner-up, all the way from USA, is seen in a coffee shop by Qua, Qualia, 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 there's, there's no surname, just Qualia, sometimes that's enough. That's just it, just like Bond. You don't need another name. He does have another name, 
but he doesn't need it. It's bombs. Anyway, you didn't win. You runner up. So um, the winner of this prestigious trophy that's actually 30 foot, it's just really far away, is Stuck in a Lift, Batman in brackets, written by Rohan. It's written by Rohan, and he could only have one name if he wanted, but he, he's got a surname, and his surname is Agalawata. Rohan Agalawata from the United Kingdom. Boom. Well done, mate. Well done. Uh, you want a screenplay. Next up is me unprofessionally drinking Carlin Black Label and advertising it. Next up we have web series screenplay. Um, this was tough. This was tough. We had about 10 people that were all sort of in a similar bracket. Um, but well done to everyone on this, the finalists. It's very incredibly hard to, re to write a web series. Trust me, Helen does it for me. Um, so in third place, we have the auteur. The auteur. The auteur. The O-U-T-E-U-R, the auteur. And that's written by Jason Skorsky, Matt McHugh and Aaron Singh. And they're in the USA. Runner up is Youth Can Age written by Ed Vella, USA. The winner, which I'm kind of happy about because it's from the United Kingdom, is, we've played with his name before, it's Shitmen, but it's Hitmen. It's sh Shitmen. You see what they've done? They've done a play on words there. So they've put an S in brackets, put Hitmen, but you read it as Shitmen. So there you go. That was genius enough. I didn't even have to read it. I was just like, you're winning just with title alone, mate. Anyway, that's coming probably by a bus or something because I don't even need to post it because you're in the United Kingdom. So I'll just, I'll just walk that. I'll just tie it to one of my dogs and send it over, mate. Anyway, well done to... Oh, sorry. That was written by Lee Lawson and Steve Brumwell. Lee Lawson, Steve Brumwell. That bad boy's on its way. When I'm not doing film festivals, um, you know, I like to enjoy a refreshing, lukewarm, put it in freezer for a minute because I've only just bought them, Carlin Black Label. It's the refined beer at... It's only 3.4 or something. What's that? I've drunk stronger thermometers. Um, right, next up, surprisingly, this, this trophy this time. Um, same as before. Just upside down. We're now going on to Lit Laugh's short script winner. Short script winner. And we're going to go with third place to start with. Third place is Warren and the Wheelie Bins. Written by Ewan Mitchell. And that's in Australia. So you are third, Warren. Ewan. Just, Ewan and the Wheelie Bins written by what? It's all a bit confusing and I haven't slept much. Runner up is Fig Jam, written by Frank J. Avella, USA. But the winner of where I'm sending this again to <laughs> is also USA. <laughs> this is, can I like send them all in one go and you just you just meet in a spot and just get your trophies and, and disperse? No. Anyway, all the way from USA, the winner is Tony. And Marconi, written by Dan Alex. Well done, Dan Alex. That bad boy's on its way. Continental. Next up. I've used the joke quite a lot of times now. It's it's that. There's a lot of them. There's just, just about 15 of them. Um, we're going to go on to the, 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 you know, often renowned feature screenplays. Um... There's a lot of entries on this. That's a lot of reading that other people have had to do. You know, we're talking about 100 pages per script. I, I, I'd struggle just reading all titles. Anyway, so, without further ado, third place is Unmatched 
written by Arthur Tie Tieski. I want to think that's right, Arthur Tieski. He's third place with one match and he's from the USA. Runner up is The Real Thing, written by Math. I, I, I rehearsed this one last night. The Real Thing, written by Matthew Pap Papadopoulos. So, you know, get over it, move on. He's from Australia. Matthew Papadopoulos, runner up. Well done. Uh, but the winner, <laughs> he's just in USA again. <laughs> oh, that is gonna, that is just fun that USA uh, are winning. Um, the winner is Ghostwriter. Ghostwriter, written by Courtney Hull. Now, we have a place called Hull in the UK. It would have been easier if you were maybe like Courtney USA from Hull. It would have cost me about two quid to get that to you. But it's not. It's going to cost me one of Steve's arms and legs. Right. Anyway, Courtney, well done. It's on its way. And we have another one, surprisingly. Right. We're moving back into film. So that was all your scripts. Well done to all your script writers. It's... Uh... <sighs> Liquor stuff. Um... Thank you, Matthew. Um, right, so, to be honest, this, like I say, this one is a micro shot. This had 150 entries. So to win this is quite a, quite a feat, really, isn't it? Do you know? Um, so, well done to anyone that just entered it, because there were 150 and I, a lot, and there was a lot of strange ones. There's a guy that made one with a chicken and, and, I, I, I can't get past it. It's haunted me. I, I can't even tell you any more than that. Just, there was a guy with a chicken. That's all you need to know. Okay? So, my, uh, so micro short winners, 150 entries. We're down to the top three. Number three is The American Dream, directed by Baldev Sandhu from the USA. So, well done, Baldev. Sandu, third place on a micro shot, brilliant achievement. Runner up was actually a bit of a bit of a song this one, which we loved, and that was "Climate Change Is Real," directed by Jay Rasmus Rasmussen again um, from the USA. Runner up, and finally the winner, the winner of one hundred and fifty different entries. Who is it? You're all asking, I know. <laughs> it's oh, oh. USA again. Yeah, it's just USA again. <laughs> oh, this is it's gonna be so cheap. Um, so the winner from the USA <laughs> is the printer, and that's directed by Zach Kruger from the USA. <laughs> That's the printer, everyone. Beat 150 entries. Well done, Zach. On its way to you in the USA. Right. We're now... We're still going strong. This, personally, was one of my favourite sections. I just brought it in this year, and I really loved... I love comedy horror. Um, I love horror. I love comedy. Put them together. It's win-win-win, isn't it? You, well, it's win-win. So, again, this was a massively tough one. I had favourites, other people had favourites that weren't my favourites. And that's how we do it. That's how this judging works. So, third place is the United Kingdom. I feel like Eurovision. Uh, and that is Siren. Siren, directed by Matthew Lever in the United Kingdom. You came in third, mate. That's honourable. Runner-up was Miss Melder's Petunas, directed by Otto Clavins in Latvia. 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 Livia. Lat it's somewhere. It's a place. And the winner, who actually won a trophy in our other competition, the Lit Scares one. 
they put it into this one, they've won again. I haven't sent a trophy out for that yet. So, I'm sending them both together. Win, win. Is Bitch Popcorn and Blood, directed by Fabio Sors, and that's France. Once we sorted out the fishing thing, mate, who, you know, who can fish where, it's coming to you. Until then, I'm going to hold off. Because you're holding off on your fish, mate. So, it's only fair. Anyway, wasn't USA this time. It's your... Oh, Europe. We're not in Europe anymore, are we? That's annoying. I'm going to claim that win. France. We've always been mates with France. And we'll, we'll probably continue that once the fish situation sorted out. Sort your fish out, mate. Come here stealing our fish. And, or not stealing our fish. And not letting you steal. There's fish. Lives matter. Um, right. Now we're on to... Lit Laugh's web series winners. There were 50 of these. And uh, some of you decided not just to send me one episode. <laughs> no. You, I wasn't going to do that with glasses. No, um, you uh, you sent me the entire, entire series, some of you. Not just one episode. The entire series. And I didn't realise that because it didn't really have breaks in it. So it, it just kept playing. And I watched whole series so that was fun anyway where's this going i don't know so here we go third place in web series 50 entries was alon and michael do things i can't tell you what they do that's their title that they chose that they don't want to give away too much they want you to just sort of go well what are you gonna what what do they do well, you have to watch it, and that's what I did. And I still don't really know what they did, but they did stuff, so well done to them. And that was directed by, ironically, themselves. So they named it, it's called Alan and Michael Do Things, directed by Alan Hanel and Michael, not even trying that surname, not a chance. No, no, s s no, no. I'm going to spell it for you. It's S Z C Z U P A K. Michael Pack. Um, from Israel. So well done, guys. Oh, actually, sorry. It was a joint third. There's actually a joint third on this. So that was Alan and Michael do things. Also in joint third is Wound Back, directed by A J Brook, UK. Nice name. Nice place. Done. Runner up was Hagai, H-A-G-A-I, directed by Jev, Jev Elm, Jev Elm, Jev Elm, Jev Elm, and Nia, Nia Frund, from Israel, well done, Jev and Nia, um, you've got runner up, but the winner, of the web series, and I have to mention this because the winner actually got my highest rank score on anything that I've ever done. It, it this was one of my favourites of all, and that was Fully Skits. Fully Skits, directed by Benjamin Stern from Australia. He's actually originally from the UK, aren't you, Benjamin? But you went over to Australia, didn't you, just to cost me a little bit more money? <laughs> Could have stayed in the UK, couldn't you? Would have cost me about a quid to send this to you. Now, Australia, probably going to cost me about 30 quid. You're not bothered, are you? But, well done, mate, because that genuinely had me lolling. Um, brilliant. He does all the voices himself, all the animation himself, all the writing. Fantastic. Well done. Fully skits, Benjamin Stern. Right. We're getting down to the big guns now. So I'm just going to make another bit of carling. We're going into short film winners. Anything up to 40 minutes. I'm not going to lie. Some of you cheekily went above that, didn't you? But there's no rules. I didn't set them rules. I thought I did, but it turns out I had 
didn't put anything in place that, that stops that. So anyway, so again, we had uh, six, uh, 80 entries, 80 entries for this. And here we go with third place. Third place is the United Kingdom. And that is Snake Oil. A brilliant film, Snake Oil. Directed by Remy Archer from United Kingdom, as I stated, but doesn't hurt to say that twice because we're in third. And runner up is a Cash Stash. Cash Stash, directed by Martin Durondu. Durondu. I really like that name. It just rolls at Durondu. What did Durondu? Don't know. I'm not watching. Are you sure? What did Duran do? Don't know, mate. Don't know. You can keep asking, but I don't know. Um, oh, sorry. It wasn't just Martin that directed that. It was also Enya Barrow. Barrox. Barrow. Barrow. The French. So probably Martin Dorondo and Enya Barrow. So well, well, very well done. And uh, you got to run her up in um, short film. Very well done. Zivina probably could lose that accent now, um, is also from France. So didn't have to lose that accent because... And the winner is Bless Me Father, directed by Boob... Boob? Boob... 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 I'm just going to keep saying that. Boobka... Boobka Benzabat. What? You what? Directed by Boob... Boobka... Benzabat from France. I'm called Velton Lishka. I've, I've got no right to take, you know, to laugh at anyone's name. Mine's like a shit game of Scrabble. Velton? What? Um, so, yes. Bless me, Father. On its way to France. Don't mind, Fran. Sort the fish out, mate. Sort your fish out. Now, we're down to the big one, as we class it. The features. The feature films. This is where the big guns are. It's where a lot of money goes into it. Having made a feature film myself, I um, highly recommend you never do it. it it's, it's ridiculously hard and for very little reward. So don't do it. Um, anyway, here we go. Thought I'd try. Thought I'd try without the, the readers on. Let's see which country this is going to. So third place is the USA. Avocado on Toast, directed by Tyler Farr. Tyler Farr. Tyler Farr, this is coming to you, man, okay? So, oh no, it's not coming to you, actually. Just lied there completely. Just got caught up in the accent, in a period. Uh, so, av Avocado on Toast, uh, it placed third, man, um, per period. Runner-up, United Kingdom. And that was Brighton. Directed by Stephen Cookson. And uh, I'm already British, so I don't have to put that accent on. But the winner... This is not one of my strong accents either. Um, sure it isn't. Sure it isn't at all. The uh, so winner is... Um, it's, it's a last roll, so it'd be where it is, where, it, where it's gone to. The last roll... I think you know where it's from, obviously. The last roll directed by... Dara McNabb, and uh, from Wales. Now it's obviously from Ireland. Uh, so well done there, Dara, Dara McNabb. Um, you're the winner of the best feature film. So you are, where you've been. No, we're not German, David. That was a really good Irish accent. You, I'll blend into any place that's British in Dublin. Um, right, so that's our main categories now. What we do have left is three more categories. I thought there was only two, but I've just got these bits of paper in my hand and I can feel three. So, I'm not going to lie, the third one's a bit of a mystery to me. Why have I got four trophies left? Maths is not my strong point, that's why I've, I do film festivals. Anyway, ah, here we Oh, I know why. Yes, I know why. Because there's obviously two winners on this one. So what we have here is again another trophy I've picked without anyone having to pay. I've paid for this, guys. It's on me, this one. So we have Best British Film 
And we also have Best International Film. So, Best British Film goes to United Kingdom. We got this one, boys. Bringing this on. Um, and that is Brighton. Best British Film. Directed by Stephen Cookson. Best International Film. I think y'all know. Y'all know which one's going to win this one, yeah? Y'all y'all know which... Aluminum? Got some aluminum? Mm. Uh, per period. It's just makes everything sound good, don't we, Americans? It's, you know... Apart from cup of tea, mate. When we say cup of tea, it has meaning. It has depth and feeling. you like, we're going to make a cup of tea. Well, I don't want one when you say it like that, so don't. Um, anyway, um, best international film is Avocado on to Avocado on Toast, directed by Tyler Farr, USA. I've said USA. So well done, Tyler. That's coming its way. Then what do we have left? I mean, seriously, I don't actually know. Oh, right. What we have left is the best actor category. There was ten nominations for this. So, in third place, Best Actor or Actress, as it happens, it was Actor. Third place is Je... <coughs> I won't even say because I'm... Oh, I might. No, that's not it. Just bear with me on this one. Good I spoke. Uh, the third, third, third best place, third best place is uh, Jeffrey Vag for Drek. And uh, he's obviously... From Australia, isn't he? In, 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 <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey Vag from Australia, mate. Yeah, Bonza, Fair Income, Sheila, Alf, and uh, Foster's Shrimp, Barbie. All taken care of. So that was Jeffrey Vag, number three. Runner up, two Brits. So I'll just stick with a normal accent because I'm pure British, despite the horrendous name that I have. Um, there was a joint runner up here. We couldn't decide between these two. And that was Tom Gaskin for Snake Oil, runner up, best actor. And also Larry Lamb. That's right, Larry Lamb from EastEnders and other Larry Lamb stuff for Brighton. But the winner. The winner. Uh, sure it is. The winner. The winner's. The winner, the winner is is, is uh, one of my favourite favourite little films. This was, and uh, apparently it's Sean Connery. Um, the winner is Matthew O'Brien, Matthew O'Brien, for the last role. So that's two trophies for last role. That's going to save me a little bit of money on the shipping. You know, I won't have to ship twice, just once, with a, an extra stamp on or something. So it's going really good. Really good. <laughs> yes, I am slightly Hungarian. Uh, so that's best actor. So that, everybody, is all our trophies. But it doesn't end there. Because what I wanted to do as well, um, there's been so many great films, and I think I can take them off now. Um, and some films that... Ooh, some films um, got into the finals but didn't get any further, but... We will still saw something in some films that where they didn't make the top three, but we wanted to give a special mention. So I have five special mentions. This will just get you a certificate that I'll send out. But it's just giving you a little bit something more because there was something in these films that was I saw quite genius. Um, but because it's a collaboration of judges, it's not always my decision. In fact, it's never my decision, strangely enough. My festival, but anyway, so we have five special mentions. The first one is, and this was personally one of my favourite films. The other judges didn't seem to get it like I did, but I loved it. And the performance from the main character in this was absolutely stand out. Um, anyway, it's called Swings and Roundabouts, and it's by directed by Peter McKiernan. Um, the lead character is John Williams. It's actually a filmmaker. Didn't know he was an actor. Phenomenal, John. Really loved, loved that. Um, so that's the first special mention. Um, second special mention, that was United Kingdom, by the way. 
Um, second special mention is one called Wizards. It was weirdly funny. It was like if the cast of Harry Potter took drugs and got drunk again. Um, and that was directed by George Baker, student. So good, great future idea, you mate. United Kingdom again. Pff, forget about it. Um, number three, one of my favourites again. Again, one of the guys in this was a fantastic performance. In fact, both both the leads in this were fantastic. Um, and that is A Fine Stew, directed by Marie Glitch, Glitch Hitch. That's her name. And I, the reason why I haven't done the accent is I genuinely don't know the accent for this country. I, f I would have done French. I would have, bonjour, it uh, is Belgium. And a fine stew from Belgium. Come on, tapo too. Pomme de Fritz, Avivu, and Regley. So, um, number four. It's only, uh, we're only going back down under now, aren't we? Eh? Think you know where we're heading. This special mention, it goes for Drac. Drac. It's a mockumentary on a, on a Dracula type thing. A lot of fun. Fantastic lead actor. It's uh, directed by Sam Sexton. Sam Sexton. You've got a special mention, my buddy. Third income. And finally, this one resonated with me. The other judges didn't have a clue what they'd just watched. I don't know why I understood it, but it was a lot of fun. It was crazy. And it was called They Came From The Sky. I saw them. Special mention, and that's directed by Matt Shaw. Where? <laughs> United Kingdom. So, has anyone kept the scars of uh, who's? I mean, it's not a competition. Well, it is a competition because it's a festival. But I mean, it's not. It's not us versus them because I think we've lost. If it is, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is all your winners, your runners up. Your third place, your finalists, you've all been semi finalists. I've been Velton Lishka. Karen's been sat on the foot this whole time. Stephen had a mention, so Steve's coming into the fold right now. Come here, boy. Because you. <sighs> That's Steve. Say something, mate. Hello, what you on with? That's Steve's voice. Weirdly high pitched, but. Um, so, congratulations to everyone. Um, like I say, we had nearly 500 entries in four months. Um, we open again tomorrow. Please join us again. Fingers crossed, July, we have a live event. I've got stand-up comedians. I've got uh, music acts. Um, I want to make it a really decent event. Um, rather than me just standing here <laughs> on my own in my front room. Um, doing this um, it's a little bit weird but I uh, hope you've enjoyed it uh, well done to all the winners runners up third place just to prove that there was more than one trophy I'm gonna wear uh, there you go you see them there's all the trophies right thank you for watching you've been emo emotional I've been emotional we've all learned some about my my accent skills, that the, they are very good. Um, do you mean, can we have Ricky Gervais presenting? <laughs> eh? Do you know I actually got called a, a poor man's Ricky, G uh, Ricky Gervais? A poor man's Ricky Gervais. <laughs> I'm having that. Eh? A, eh? A poor man's Ricky Gervais. I'll take that. That's why I've got a really nice girlfriend. Right, thank you beautiful people. Take care and good night. I don't know how to switch it off, but really generally I don't know how to switch it off. Oh no, you're all still here. Thought I switched it off then. Um Bye everyone. Oh, and can the winners? I'll send. I'll be sending out laurels, certificates, and all that. The winners will need your addresses. I may as well just write USA, and everything will get there, won't it? Bye. Oh my God. Sorry, I really can't switch this off. Jesus. Oh, it's, there's still fifty of you there, and I can't.
and I'm just gonna give a shout out to my boy Jack in the U in the USA. He's been with me all along. Probably probably split up. <laughs>